Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent and we're back here on Pokemon Showdown today. I'm going to be building an OU team around Mega Manetric, then we'll hop on the ladder, test out the team, make any changes to it that we do feel are necessary, and the final team will be down below in the description for all of you to try out. So let's just go ahead and hop right in. So I think Mega Manetric is actually very overlooked in the OU meta. It's able to outspeed a ton of offensive threats and it's just really great in the offense versus offense matchups, kind of similarly to like what Mega Lopunny does. It's able to outspeed stuff like Tapu Koko, Ash Greninja after the Battle Bond, as well as Tornado Styrian with the base 135 speed tier. So I really like that about it. And obviously the things that it struggles with are a ton of bulky Pokemon, stuff like AV Tangrowth, Chansey, stuff like that. So we'll definitely be building around breaking that sort of thing right now. But yeah, really strong dual stab attacks right here with Voltus Thunderbolt. Hidden Power Ice, of course, for obvious reasons, Lando T, Zygarde. And then we actually are running Flamethrower. You can run Overheat as like a nuke for stuff like, I guess the Tangrowth would be the most best thing, like it's able to knock out defensive Tangrowth, but I think Flamethrower is a much more consistent option, so we're going with that right now, and, and we definitely need something to break through all the bulk, of course, so when I was looking at Pokemon that could do that, breaks through stuff like Chansey, Toxpex, Choice Band Zygarde actually came to mind, and this can definitely appreciate getting in safely with the Volt Switch support for Mega Manectric right here, so I really like that about it, and we're going to be running this right now with the Max Attack Adam in nature, of course, Max Speed, and then uh, we'll put the 4 in defense right here. So Choice Band Zygarde, really nice wall breaker alongside Mega Manectric, of course. I think it's really great. Thousand Arrows, of course. You can actually run Earthquake if you want, but like, uh, I'd like to run Iron Tail instead. But we're going to go with Thousand Arrows right here. Then we're going to go with probably Extreme Speed is a good bet. Iron Tail, and then what do I want the last move to be? I could probably just run Toxic as a good bet. I think Outrage is a better bet, though. We'll run Outrage right here. I think Dragon Stab is definitely a very good thing to have right now, too. So... This is definitely very great. Obviously, they both st still kind of struggle against uh, Tangrowth, of course, even though we do have Flamethrower over here. They definitely both don't really appreciate that Pokemon at all, so I would love something to be able to handle that Pokemon now. We still do need a Hazard Control, and I would love to form my Volt Turn Core with Manectric early right here, so what do I want to be able to run to do, with, uh, do all this stuff? I mean, I can run Lando. It sort of kind of forms like a U-turn, uh, like an Intimidate Volturn core with La uh, Mega Manectric, because obviously it gets the Intimidate after Mega Evolving, of course, even though it's not in the list right here, but I would actually think uh, maybe Tornadus could be a good bet, because it's able to... We're, we're going to run the Flanium Z set, so it can actually take knockoffs with ease from uh, Tangrowth, of course, and we're going to go right here with Hurricane, knockoff, U-turn, and Defog. So now we have Hazard Control on the board, which I think is very valuable when you have two Pokemon like... Zygarde and Mega Manetric, which really hate T-Spikes, of course, and they don't really appreciate Rocks or Spikes either, like, Spikes and Rocks definitely gonna wear these Pokemon down, so I think this is a really solid option right here. Just gonna run the Max Speed, Max Special Attack Timid set right now. Actually, I'm pretty sure Standard might run Minus at Defense, we'll go with that for now, and uh, we'll put the 4 in Attack, because we do have some physical attacks right here with the Knockoff and U-Turn, of course, but I think this is a really good pairing, Tornadus T plus Mega Manetric. And uh, what does the team really struggle with right now? I think uh, rock support could be very good, of course. We also do need a solid water resist, so I'm going to be on the lookout for one of those. Now, I would love another, like, water type alongside. Well, another wall breaker would be the main thing, but a water type could be really good as a nice water resist. I mean, Ash Greninja isn't really, like, a water resist. It takes It's a water resist, but it like, takes, like, 50% from Hydro Pump anyway, so I think, uh, what do I want to run right here? I mean, you can go AV Magirna. I really don't want to run that, though. It's kind of passive. I think I think maybe Specs Keldeo could be a good bet. I mean, it's able to resist Ascure and just dual stab, which is really cool. And we could run, like, a Spec set as another wall breaker, which uh, I think would be very solid right now. So let's actually do this right now. Let's go with Specs Keldeo with Hydro Pump. Seraph has dual water stab. And then we can actually go with Secret Sword Focus Blast right here. I don't really think we need any coverage besides dual stab. We just have our accurate moves and then we have our less accurate ones in case we need to burn them. But let's go ahead and actually try this out right now. I think this could be a, a very solid bet right here to switch into Ash Greninja at least once or twice, which could be good. And uh, yeah, I was actually thinking about running like the Calm Mind Taunt Keldeo to be able to 1v1 Toxapex, but Banded Zygarde and Metric definitely can break through Toxapex to some extent anyway, so I really like that. And we're going to go with Specs Keldeo right now. Now, I still need Stealth Rocker, and, I mean, what do I want to run for that? Yeah, there's, there's not really a ton of options. I mean, Lando is still right there, but I think maybe I want to run a different Lando set, but in terms of running Stealth Rocks, I mean, we could run something like Drill, but 
I mean, Drill is usually seen with a, like a lead set on Hyper Offense. I don't think that really fits right here. I think maybe uh, maybe a Utility Tran can fit well. I mean, what does that really do for me? Actually, it acts as a really solid Fairy Resist, which we kind of need right now. Like, a Fairy Resist is definitely very good. So, Utility Tran actually runs max HP right here. And then max speed. With a timid nature, for in special... I guess we'll put it in special defense. Eh, we'll put it in special attack. It doesn't truly matter. As I believe it runs leftovers with Magma Storm. Earth Power. And then I believe we can just go Taunt Rocks right here. Because I do need to run Rocks on this, so we'll go with Stealth Rocks Taunt. And I, I definitely think that's a very solid right here. We have our Stealth Rock around the board. And uh, we also have a really nice Fairy Resist. So this can definitely help out with stuff like Tapu Lele. And Mega Alakazam, of course. Nice Psychic Resist, too. Obviously, we have to be careful about Focus Blast and Phytanium Z. All that stuff, for sure. But I think this is a very good. One slot left. I think it has to be Lando, just because the Intimidate Volt turn is too good to pass up, I think. But we already have Rocks and Defog. I mean, I can run Scarf Lando. Let's do that. Let's run Scarf Lando right here. And I'm pretty sure the EV spread is like 80 in, 80 in HP. Maybe 148 in attack. 84 here, maybe? I, I generally have no idea. I'll, I'll get a double check, but I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it's something like this right here. And uh, we'll actually run a Naive Nature. Actually, I'm pretty sure the 84 goes in defense, so we'll do that instead. And I'll get the spread double check, but this might be right. It's something like this. And I'll go right here with Earthquake, U-Turn, Hidden Power Rice, and... I mean, we can go Scarf Defog as a secondary defogger. I don't think it's necessary. I'm just going to run Knockoff. That's a good bet, and uh, that looks good to me. I'll get the Lando EV spread double checked, but I'm really hoping Mega Manekric plus Torn and Keldeo Zygarde can do a lot of work right here. Then, of course, we have our Rocker and Utility Tran, and our Scarfer and Lando right here. So, hopefully this can do some work. Obviously, we can change anything that we want to when we are battling, and I'll be right back with our first match. Okay, we got our first game right here. Manekric is actually great in this matchup right now. Now, I'm assuming he's going to try to lead off with Keldeo for the rocks, so... What I'm actually going to do right here is lead off with my Landorus. I said Keldeo, I meant Excadrill. And uh, yeah, he does lead off with the Excadrill, of course. Now, Scarf Lando is too good to let get Toxic right here, so I'm just going to go ahead and do turn out. And uh, maybe bring in, well, he actually doesn't have any Zagard switch in, so let's not bring that out right here. Let's actually go out here into maybe my... What does Tornadus do for me? I mean, it's good against, I guess, the, the Pinsir, and it can take a hit from Blacephalon. I'm going to make the offensive plan to Keldeo right here. As he does just go for the Stealth Rocks, which is cool. Now, I'm actually going to make a double here, expecting his Lottie to come out into my Tornadus. Because uh, Lottie should be the initial switch, and I would imagine. Yeah, so he does go out into the Latios right now. As, uh, what this allows me to do is just throw off a knockoff, which is cool. And uh, we do a good amount. Let's see what the... He's actually the Z-Move, so he'll be knocking me out, but... I mean, like, as I said, Torn wasn't, like, super good here. And what this allows me to do is pretty much bring back in Landorus, and he's in range of U-Turn now, so... I can just go right here for the U-turn, and he'll be forced to switch out probably into maybe Excadrill here, and then I can bring in Zagard and claim a kill of my own, which uh, could be very good for me. Now, does this thing have HP? Yes, it does, so I need to keep this around for the the Zagard, of course, so gotta, gotta keep that in mind, of course. So he's just trying to figure out what to do hands to sack the Lottie right here. I mean, Lottie's not super good since it burnt the Z-move already, but maybe I could have gone Tran right there. That might have been a smarter play, but... I kind of want to keep, I mean, what, I'm pretty much keeping Tran healthy for the Blacephalon is the only thing. I mean, I guess maybe Magnezone too, but it just dies to everything else. Assuming this Lottie has Earthquake, of course, but this guy really does not know what he wants to switch in right here. I mean, yeah, he doesn't really have any solid switch in because if he goes Zagard, I get to U-turn and bring in my Specs Keldeo. And at this point, Lottie doesn't want to take hits from Specs Keldeo. And if he goes out into Drill, which he's going to do, I get my kill with, I get my kill with Zagard now, which is great, so... We get to U-turn out here. I'm not sure whether he's Jolly or Adamant, but I have to go Zagard here and claim a kill of my own at this point in the game. So I'm assuming he's Jolly and he'll be toxicing me or whatever, maybe Earthquake. But I'm, I'm not too stressed out about it. There's a Toxic, honestly better than the Earthquake to be honest, but we're able to knock that out, which is cool. And uh, maybe he'll go back to Lottie here is what I had to guess. And I'll, I'll go out into Heatran then. And uh, maybe just get up my own rocks now, because rocks could be great for Pinsir and Blacephalon. I probably should have made it a priority to get up my rocks, but yeah, out comes Latios again. As I have to go Heatran here. As he goes for the Memento, so what's he trying to set up with? I can taunt whatever and then start to do things. Yeah, let's taunt this here. He goes for sub, but it can't set up anymore. So he's just gonna 1000 arrows right here. Uh, I'm just gonna, like, 
probably sack off something else. Because I don't want to go land race because I won't get the Intimidate. I mean, I can probably get up Earth Power. Go for Earth Power or Rocks here. I need Heatran. I, I really need Heatran in this game. I, I think Keldeo is very good too. Uh, I can probably go maybe... I have to go land race on the Thousand Arrows. It does a lot more than I wanted it to, but I can click Hidden Power Ice here and break the sub. Or actually, I can just Earthquake to break now. Yeah, let's just Earthquake here. Because I have Manectric at the end of the day to beat this. And now what I can do is get Inspects Keldeo and just click... I mean, I really want to Hydro Pump, but I think I have to Surf. Let's go for Surf and hope it's enough. I really think I should Hydro Pump, though, because it might not... Surf might not do enough to Magna Zone, so let's Hydro Pump here. And I don't even know if Surf kills Zygarde, I'm not going to lie. I don't think it does. So uh, let's go for the safe Hydro Pump, and if we hit it, then we'll probably win. If we don't hit it, then we'll probably lose. Okay, so yeah, this is why I clicked Hydro Pump, as we do hit. And we just straight up knock it out, which is cool. So he goes Pinsir. Do I live a Quick Attack? Uh, Pinsir against Keldeo. I will easily... That's a, that's an Earthquake. A Quick Attack, I do live, so I can knock him out right here. As uh, he knocks me out because I missed. Uh, kind of unfortunate, but at the same time... Uh, I can probably go Bandage Zagard now. I mean, or I go Manectric, but if I go Manectric, then I'll give the the thing a Beast Boost, maybe. I don't know. Uh, what's the better play right here? Zagard or Manectric? Manectric gets the Intimidate off. That's the thing. And I can just T-Bolt. I think me... I, I'll go Manectric here. Because the Zagard should go down to HP, I would imagine. So let's Mega Evolve and Thunderbolt, of course. And if it's not even Scarf Blacephalon, he's, he's lost anyway, I think. Actually, if he's not Scarf Blacephalon and he Specs, he might actually win. Because plus one Specs probably knocks out Heatran. No, but then I just Volt out, I, and then I bring back in Manectric and click it, some attacks. So he goes out into this, of course. I have to HP Ice here and uh, try to get rid of this Pokemon. Hopefully it's able to do that. It should be able to... Okay, so he goes Blacephalon. Let's see if this is Scarf or not. But my play is Volt every time to make sure that I still have this alive. As we can still come back in on Hazards, which is cool. As all I need to do is go out into my, my Heatran here. And uh, I, I really want a Magma Storm, not gonna lie. I'm gonna Earth Power. I, I'm gonna Magma Storm. Oh my god, I, 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 I'm good here if I hit Magma Storm, but if I don't hit Magma Storm, then it's bad. So that was clearly Scarf Blacephalon, we know that. I'm gonna Magma Storm. Okay, we hit, cool. As, I mean, Pinsir is a problem now, for sure. But I think we can beat Pinsir. Go Zagard. I gotta throw this out. As he goes right for the Dragon Nance. So that's smart, but I think maybe Banded Zagard can live a hit, so... He's gonna knock me out. I can go out into my, my own Zagard here. And just go right here for the... I think Outrage is the play. No, I have to Extreme Speed. I, I think we lose. Unfortunately. Because Pinsir is gonna come out. I should have made the offensive play with the HP Ice into Zagard, man. I knew it was coming out, but I, I just went for the T-Bolt, because if he stayed in with Pinsir, I, I lost, so I didn't really know what to do right there, but uh, I'll outrage here. Maybe he'll choke and switch out into Pinsir, but maybe I should have just switched out Manectric and kept it healthy. That, that was probably the play. I don't know why I let Manectric take the damage. I go hard Heatran, and then I'm pre pretty sure I still lose if I go hard Heatran. Maybe not. I, I don't know. Maybe if he's... I mean, we know he has Quick Attack. He should have Quick Attack, right? Okay, so my hope is that I go Manectric, get the Intimidate off as he knocks me out, and then Zagard can live the hit after taking this, which I highly doubt, but it's what I have to go for. Extreme Speed doesn't kill this, right? Zygard. Oh, you double dance against Choice Band Zygard. Yeah, I have to, I have to go for the Outrage here. I'm going to Thousand Arrows. Okay, so he's the berry, which means I gotta hope Thousand Arrows kills now, which it looks like it may not even. So he's just going for sub to stall out the this the toxic, which is smart, but... Okay, so now, we, now Thousand Arrows should kill, but I don't know whether he has a Z-Mover or anything to knock me out right here. But Pinsir's gonna knock me out, which is the terrible part. Yeah, it's, it's a double down, but he's able to win the game because of Quick Attack. 
Yeah, after T-Bolt right here, he's gonna quick attack, and that's going to be the game right there. So, it came down to the play with the whole, like, Zygarde, Minectric thing. If I had a HPI right there, I'm pretty sure it would have been enough. Let's run that calc too, I guess, but... Actually, it was a roll. He could have actually... Well, it depends on what his spread was, because if he was the... Well, he was sub, so I'm assuming he was the coil variant. So, it's probably this one, and... It was probably a roll, even if I HPIced right there, but that guy definitely played his pincer well. I probably could have played Manectric well late game, better late game, but it is it is what it is, and I'll, I'll be right back with another game. Okay, we got our next game right here, going to be up against a pretty offensive Mega Beedrill team. Gonna lead off here with my Lander ST. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and lead off with his own. I really don't want to take any HP ices with this, so I'm just gonna switch out here into Torn. Because Lander is so good here, just clicking Earthquake. As he gets up rocks, as uh, I can just go ahead and defog these away right now. Not sure if he's gonna explode. Goes for an SD. I'm gonna try to Z move him down to Sash, and now I just defog. Or I just knock. Like, what is he gonna bring out to knock me out? I mean, I should have knocked right there. What did I do? <laughs> because I would have lived a hit from B drill. I was gonna cancel, but the move went off. Yeah, had I knocked him out, I don't know what he would have brought out to revenge kill me. I mean, B drill probably knocks me out, and then. I mean, it, it could have been better right there, but I think he's trying to still super good here. Uh, he's about to go out into probably. I mean, I just go Landers. As it brings out Beedrill, this guy does not have an Earthquake switch in, so... I'm going for this, as this is gonna go down. Yeah, we Earthquake and knock that thing out right there. He tried to U-turn, clearly, as... Scarf Lander is just super good in this game. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna try to go off of winning with Zygarde behind screens. Go Superior. I'm assuming this is gonna be Glare Superior. I'm gonna go out here into Heatran. As he goes right for the Elite Seed. I'm gonna try to get up a here. As we do get up a which is cool. Now I'm gonna Taunt. To prevent any more substitutes, and then... Now he's forced to Leaf Storm, so I'm just gonna Magma Storm here. As unfortunately we get fully paralyzed. Uh, I, pr I should probably switch out. I'm just gonna Magma Storm. As we do hit, and he can't get up another sub. So now now I can switch out and sack something, I think. Or I just Magma Storm again. As we hit twice, that's amazing. I did never think that we would hit twice, but... Rox Pressure is great. I can even taunt Zagard if he tries to set up with that now. Let's taunt right here on the Dragon Dance. He only gets one of them up, which is the plan. Now I just Magma Storm as he's kind of forced to knock me out here, which is cool. Uh, Keldeo should take a hit, I would imagine, but let's go Landorus here. And uh, just click Earthquake. It's doing quite a bit. I can just Earthquake multiple times. As he is Barry, but I'll bring him down really low. Oh, never mind. He has E-Speed. Okay. But now that we have the attack boost gone, I can just go out into this here. Hit him up with the Surf, I think, is to play. As, oh, actually, this sucks, because now... I should have Hydro Pumped, man. <laughs> because now Zygarde's gonna come out and set up again. But it, it really can't do that too safely, that's the thing. Go with Blacephalon, is this a Z move? I mean, I would speed it, unless it's... Yeah, we still knock it out. <laughs> Not quite sure what was the plan right there, but I go for Surf here. He Dragon Dances, of course. And uh, now he's in range of E-Speed, so we're able to win this game, it looks like, because... All I need to do is... Go out onto Zygarde here, and click Extreme Speed, and uh, that'll be GG right now, because there's no way his E-Speed's gonna knock me out, so... We're able to go ahead and pick up the win. Kind of got scary after the Lola Ninetales lived my surf, but... We're able to pick up the win right there. A very fast-paced game. Two very fast-paced games, basically. I mean, the first one is fast, because the... The opponent took quite a lot while to choose his plays, but we're able to win, and I'll be right back with another game. Okay, we got our next game right here. We actually speed tie with the slow pony, which is pretty bad. I'm gonna lead off here with my Landorus, and I have to try to get a play right at the early game right here, because I'm assuming he's gonna lead off with low pony. And he actually leads off with crowd out. We get an intimidate off, and I can just go for a U-turn here. As I'm assuming he's gonna try to knock off, so what's not very valuable is basically the question. Keldeo does a ton of work. Uh, Tornadus does quite a bit of work. It's kind of walled by Magirna. I, don't, I mean, Tornadus probably takes the hit best, but if he goes for Crab Hammer, Caldeo will. Uh, Zygarde does too much work to sack. That just clicks Baz and Aeros through his team. Heatran is good for Magirna. Let's go Tornadus here. On the incoming knockoff, which we're able to take because of our because of the fact that we don't have an item. So Now what I get to do is just fire off my Z-move here. I mean, I would love to just Hurricane, but... Or I'll just U-turn again. Let's just U-turn again. He really risked that mon, okay. Uh, this gives me Keldeo, or it gives me Banded Zagard, but if he's Z-move, then that's kind of bad for me. Let's go Keldeo here. And let's go ahead and just click Hydra Pump right now. Try to blow something away. I mean, if he goes Ferrothorn, it is what it is. 
But I, I really think Hyder pumps the play. I don't want to click a fighting type move into his stay in play. Yeah, so we're able to knock out Blacephalon. And uh, that's pretty great. So yeah, I'm assuming he tried to Z move there, and he probably expected a fighting attack. Goes out into low punny. He may go for Ice Punch here. I'm going to stay in right here and see if he wants to go for Ice Punch. Is he actually high jump kicks? We'll live this and knock it out. Yeah, Lopunny's going to go down right there, and that was a really big threat to my team. So not quite sure what he was predicting, but I'm glad I stayed in, as... I mean, we still have Heatran for Magirna. Goes out into uh, Lander's T right here. As what I can do is just go out into... I mean, I don't really want to go out into my own. I definitely don't want to sack this thing. Let's go back to Torn. As he goes for the edge and misses, that's pretty bad for him, so this is Scarf. Let's go out here into Landorus. As he misses two edges, great for him. <laughs> that's really terrible. As all this HP ice here. He's just gonna go out and forfeit, yeah, that guy got really lucky, but at the same time, he made some very questionable plays with this two, like, really offensive mods that did a ton of work. Like, I don't actually have a Ghost Resist on my team, so... I would have always gone out into, probably not Assault West Magirna, but probably Ferrothorn. Assuming it was Assault Best, of course, but we're able to pick up that win right there. And I'll be right back with another one. Okay, we got our next game right here. I mean, Nectar does a lot of work. We managed, we've managed to pretty bounce, pretty nicely bounce it back after our first loss, of course. But I'm going to lead off here with my Manectric on the Arachnid lead. And I'm just going to go ahead and Mega Evolve and Volt switch out here. I really can't risk Manectric. And uh, I'm assuming he's not Scarf, yeah. I mean, we probably outspeed Scarf. As what I can do here is just bring out my... Uh, nothing really wants to take this on. <laughs> I mean, I can go, I mean, he doesn't actually have switch into Caldeo, so let's not switch out into that. I think Tornadus is a fine play on the webs. As, uh, what this pretty much allows me to do is go right here for my Z-move. Be able to knock this out and then defog on whatever comes in after. Because I should live a Scarf hit from Lele, like a Scarf Psy Shock. Pretty nicely. Actually, he's at minus one, so let me just defog here and then fire off the Z-move. Because I know I can take a liquidation, and if he, if he crits me... Then that could be pretty bad. And I think preserving the Z move might be a good decision. So yeah, now I'm just going to go right here for the Supersonic Sky Strike. Prevent the webs from going up, which is cool. Uh, he's just going to go ahead and forfeit on that note. He really needs webs up. And the common that's why Intimidate is so great. Because it allowed me to live that. I mean, it would have done 90% without it. But, I mean, that's regenerate one regenerator switch. So, very quick game right there. And I'll be right back with another one. Okay, we've got our next game right here. Going to be up against tomorrow Aurora Veil Offense. Which is always fun, of course. As uh, I don't really want to have anything get Hypnosis, I'm just going to lead off here with my Tornadus on the Greninja lead. So this is not very ideal. I have Keldeo here for this, but I really... Uh, he's going to be Protean, right? Yeah, okay, I'm glad I switched out. As uh, he may be locked into that, he may not be locked into that. I'm going to go right here for a... For a Focus... No, I'm going to go for a, a Hydro Pump. Okay, so we'll Oko this thing, unless it's Sash. If you're Sash, why did you do that? <laughs> But I get to Hydro Pump again, as he gets up a spike as I miss. So he gets to get up more spikes now, which is kind of annoying. But Keldeo still has some fun here. As he goes immediately to Superior and we do 52%. Go, no, he's going to Glare, I think. I'm going to Hydro Pump again. As he actually goes for Lead Sheet. I thought about Glare, but I'm going to go here into Tornadus now. Goes right for Leaf Storm. As I'm assuming he'll just not sack off his Greninja here, so I'm going to go for the U-Turn. Get my health all the way back up to full right here. And what can I bring in to prevent Aurora Veil is the thing. I mean, I guess my best bet would be knocking off the Light Clay, but then if he attacks me, that's just bad. Manectric's a fine play, I guess, but I want to preserve the Intimidate. If I go Heatran, what's he going to do? Probably go Zagard. Which guys have to switch to Landers anyway. Let's go into Heatran. And if he goes out into uh, the... Nine tails. let's hope he doesn't have Hypnosis. Goes out into this here. I'm gonna taunt this. Because he tries to Dragon Nance, yeah. Honestly, this mod doesn't do anything for- I mean, actually, it's good against Blacephalon, never mind. Let's switch it out. On the incoming Thousand Arrows. Gonna go right here for the U-turn. As I'm assuming he's gonna preserve this at full. Yeah, and go out into his own Landers here, so... Let's actually calc 9%. Landers are of our own. Uh, OU Choice Scarf. Against, I have max attack, max speed in here. Against, well actually we're not max attack, so I have to get that fixed. But against Landers, let's say if he's Choice Scarf, how much would I do? 9.4 to 11, so yeah, it looks like with my less attack investment, that's actually a potential roll. So maybe I should just go Zagrad here. Because we got a ton of damage on Superior, it can't switch in anymore. 
I'm gonna go turn. As we're able to get in. I don't know if he has Stone Edge or not. I'm pivoting back. As he actually just gets up rocks. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. I'm gonna go for the U-turn now. Right back to Torn. On the SD. Okay, yeah, get, get, get this thing out of here. <laughs> I don't want this. I don't want to deal with this thing. Yeah, get rid of that right there. I'm gonna defog on Superior and give it a competitive boost if he goes out into that. Goes Blacephalon. I'm gonna try to defog on this. As we've got our defog, he goes for Calm Mind. Okay, let me knock off. The, he's probably Z move. He is Z move, but uh, we can actually go out into. This is actually pretty bad. Because he got the speed boost, this is pretty bad. Okay, I know what to do. I'm gonna go out into this here. What do I sack on the Z move? What am I sacking on this Z move right now? Probably Manectric. Or Keldeo. Let's go Keldeo. And uh, now what I gotta do is hope that Zygarde can take a hit from this. So I'm gonna go out into this here. Go right for the Thousand Arrows. As we are able to take that hit, which is cool. Now the problem is, this is his, his Zygarde is looking like a huge threat late game. Okay, so I think my play is go out into this here on the Aurora Veil. Vale. And since I saw, saw that I was faster than Zygarde, what I can do here is go for the Magma Storm. Let's hope he doesn't have Hypnosis, and if he does, he doesn't hit it. I just got a Taunt here. Like, that's always my play. And he tries to Dragon Dance, yeah, and we're not going to let that happen. As I switch this out now into my Lander ST on the Thousand Arrows. Go right for a U-turn here. Into my own Zygarde. Live his hit. And now I just look Outrage here. As he, might, he may try to set up, of course. We knock him out through it. Okay, that's good. Goes right back to Ninetales. I have to let, me go, I have to let myself go down. But since we know it's not Scarf Superior, he goes for Icy Wind. <laughs> Very interesting tech. Okay, what am I what am I doing here? I mean, Landorus kind of wins after a bit of damage, so let's just go Manectric. Healthy Superior? 29? Yeah, okay, that should be an EQ range. Let's go right here for the... Uh, for the Flamethrower. As he goes right for the Icy Wind. Okay, now, I'll get it. now that he's faster, I can actually just get a slow Volt out here. And then... Gets up the Aurora Veil again. That's actually kind of annoying. Okay, let's go out into Tran now. Just go right for- I can't let Tran get to put, to put to sleep, that's the thing. I mean, I can, actually. With the Magma Storm. As Superior can't beat me, I don't think so. Let's go for Magma Storm. He tries to sub on me. I guess I can just Earth Power here. I mean, I don't know if Earth Power is going to kill behind the Veil. Okay, so we had two Magma Storms and we're able to win the game right there. Kind of got sketchy, I mean... I was honestly very scared of Zagard, but Taunt Heatran coming through, of course, as we're able to go ahead and pick up the win. Did I never uh, ignore at the beginning? I guess I never did. Whoops. Okay, well, luckily he didn't, um, this guy did not swear about anything, but uh, I'll be right back with another game. Well, all right, we got another game right here, and I get this asked this question quite a lot, why I ignore. It's pretty much just because I want to focus on the game when I'm recording, so unless I recognize the opponent, I'll usually just use the ignore button. No disrespect or anything, of course, it's just I want to focus, so let's go ahead and lead off here with my... Zero Aura is a giant problem. Uh, what am I dealing with that with? I mean, Manekra can do work, but he has a Zero Aura. Leads off with Metacham. Okay, I'm going to try to get a Scarf U-turn off here. Goes right for Fake Out. I'm assuming he might just go Zapdos here. But he could also go for Ice Punch. Goes Zapdos. Thankfully, no. Para or whatever. Tapu Bulu is a one switch into my Caldeo. But I see uh, a very free Zygarde switch in right here. As I'm just going to click Thousand Arrows on the incoming HP Ice, and now I'm going to double to Torn here on the incoming... Just went for Roost. Okay, that's pretty bad for me. Uh, that's actually really bad for me. Tries to Volt out. Okay, so we're back in the same position. I'm not letting this happen again. He was faster the first time? Oh, I'm so ignorant. <laughs> Rip. Okay. Should have just stayed in. I mean, I guess, uh, technically... I, I just thought I was faster that entire time. That's why I made that series of plays. Let's go for Hydro Pump. He goes out into Tapu Bulu. We still do a decent amount, but this could have gone a lot better. Okay, so he gets in this. I'm gonna, gonna taunt here. Because he gets a slow volt out. Into what? Into his Ditto. Okay. 
He's probably just going to Earth Power, so let me go Torn here. Yeah, he's going to try to bank off my choke of staying in. Going to knock here. As we get rid of the helmet in exchange for a para. Honestly, could be worse. As long as we get our U-turn out, yeah. Because every time this thing comes in, I get to go out into this and get 35% more on Tapu Bulu. So let's go out here. Let's go for the Hydro Pump again. He goes Ditto this time. This thing's going to take like 50. If we can hit the attack, of course. But unfortunately, he's able to dodge. I just got into my Paralyzed Torn here. On the Surf, yeah. Surfs me twice. Gotta go Keldeo now and click Focus Blast. Which we all know how bad this move is. We hit it, okay. Uh, that's probably a roll. I have to go for this roll. We hit two and get the roll, cool. So I don't see any more water resists, which is nice. Unless you count his ditto. Goes out into Zapdos here. Gonna go Tran as he doubles to Drill. Lander is here. On the Stealth Rocks. I'm just gonna go here for the U-turn on the incoming Zapdos. Claim another Mon right now. As I can just start clicking Surf now. I'm not gonna start risking misses. As it gives me Zapdos, which is cool. So we actually have a chance in this game right now, which is really hard to believe after the, everything that went down earlier. Goes for Sub. Uh, that's a very interesting tech. He has that attack. Okay, let's go for Flamethrower again. He doesn't actually have a switch in. Now that I realize this. And this might go down because I have a spit after up. So it goes Ditto. He's able to take my attack, of course. I'm just going to go Tran here. Tran's not good anymore. It dies to everything. And it's the only thing that can actually want to take this hit right now. So he goes for Volt Switch. How healthy is my Manectric now? It's pretty weak, right? Yeah. Medi comes out. He actually, I just realized I can win with Scarf EQ. If I get a bit of damage on this right now. Okay, let's attempt to... He risks the high jump kick. Okay, good play. Uh, I can force a kill here with Keldeo. I think that's my play. I mean, I'm trying to go for the Scarf EQ win. Let's go Keldeo. Does Surf kill this or do I have to Hydro Pump? Keldeo, Choice Scarf. Let's get rid of that and put Choice Specs on here against Medicham. Uh, Skull does that much, which means Surf should do enough. 96 to 113, so what's the chance to kill? 81.3%, which is a higher than 80. So let's go here for the Surf, as... Actually, this that should have Hydro Pump. This might not kill now. Oh, we kill anyway, because of a crit. That could actually end up mattering a lot. That's really terrible. But my play here is to sack this off on the sub. Go for Flamethrower, as he'll knock me out, of course. He's running like an Adamant set. Okay, I get to bring this out now. Go for Scarf EQ. Uh, he might have this anyway. It depends. Does he sack this mon? He does sack this mon. Why? Healthy is my Keldeo? 93. Drill is probably Sash. I mean, I have to Earthquake. Come on, don't be Sash Drill. Surf here. I mean, I don't think Sash Drill kills me. I'm not gonna lie. I think we live in Earthquake. Yeah, we live, and uh, we win the game. I, I knew we would live the Earthquake. Uh, uh, after that terrible start, we're still able to pick up the win, which is really cool to see, of course. Manectric being able to do some work against that Zerora, which is cool, and I'll drop a GG right there. Very confused about how we won after that terrible start, but hey, it worked out for us. That terrible, the terriblest thing was that I, terriblest, was that I uh, thought I was faster with Zygarde, and I went torn, took the damage, took a static pair, went back to Zygarde and fainted. That was pretty terrible, but we're able to pick up the win. And I'll be right back with another game. Okay, we got our next game right here. Going to be up against a rain team. This may be our last because I'm running a bit short on time, but we started off with a win and then we won. I mean, we started off with a loss and then we won five games in a row, which is always cool. Our Mega Swampert matchup is terrible, <laughs> which is funny. Let's lead off here with Torn on Ferrothorn lead. I'm just gonna go for the knockoff here. I don't know if he's gonna scout for Heat Wave or not, but if he does, I'm assuming it's gonna be uh, to Magirna. So we'll get rid of re Recovery on this, which is something. Gyro Ball straight up killed. Okay, so it was choice banned, but that's why. That is a very interesting set. I mean, you can't really expect stuff like that. No Zygarde switch-ins, which is cool. Don't want to take the damage with it, though. Uh, I should imagine if it was HP Grass. Let's go out into this and just hit him up with a... 
I mean, Focus Blast is super free if we can hit it. <laughs> you know, it's our final game. Let's just go ahead and hit it right here. If we hit two earlier, maybe we can hit a third. Okay, this has to be AV, I was, I was assuming. So it is AV, so Secret Sword is actually the better player there, which is kind of funny. Gotta go out of Tahi Tran here. Yeah, I'm not risking... I, I could risk Lando. Go through, okay, I'm glad I didn't risk Lando. <laughs> Let's go here for Stealth Rock. I mean, they're not great, but they press their Pelipper coming in repeatedly. Goes out into Pelipper. I can taunt here to prevent a defog if he has it. Because I should be faster, of course. And if he knocks me out, I'm really expecting a defog, which is why I'm doing this. He just goes straight for Scald, so that's kind of pretty unfortunate, not gonna lie. I was really hoping to see defog there. Uh, at this point, I just throw this away. Choice Band Fair Thunder. Can I deal with that without the Smon? Yeah, I can. Okay, so he goes for Hurricane that time. I guess maybe expecting Keldeo. Can we hit this attack? I mean, if we can break the Confusion, we'll be fine. I'm just hoping he doesn't try to go off my Confusion hitting and then try to defog later. He goes for Hurricane, so he's trying to defog. I'm taunting here. Come on, don't give him the defog. Actually, I should be able to snap out next turn. Okay, so we taunt on the Skull, that's fine. That could have been a lot worse. I may need to risk Zygarde here. Because if I go Manectric, that just invites in Swampert, and I kind of lose. I'm going to go Caldeo here and really hope Specs Hydro Pump in the rain can kill. This is an insanely strong attack. Let's hope it does enough to Pelipper, because it looks like he's offensive with, like, Scald Hydro Pump. So we do knock him out. Cool. As uh, so he doesn't really have, like, too, great res too many great responses to this, not going to lie. Magirna will go down. Ferrothorn will live at, 80, at 82. So out comes that thing. I'm gonna go Landorus here on the Power Whip. Yeah, okay, goes for Power Whip, of course. Now I just U-turn. Because we have the Intimidate. And I, I can bring in Zygarde and start clicking Choice Band Thousand Arrows. Goes for Power Whip, and unfortunately for him, he misses that one. This Thousand Arrows might kill because it looks like he's some sort of offensive set. He has no rain anymore also, so... Secret Sword is looking super free, as he goes for Explosion and does 42. <laughs> what a weak Pokemon. I think I can win with Secret Sword. If we win this terrible rain matchup, that would be so funny. I don't know why he didn't switch out his Pelipper on the Hydro Pump. Like, you go Ferrothorn probably to live too. I mean, it is Specs Hydro Pump in the rain. Probably doesn't live too, based on the fact that Pelipper died. <laughs> Out comes this. I just gotta weaken this for Keldeo. He might Ice Beam right away for sure. Goes for Hydra Vortex. Okay, so I have two options right here. I can go Manetric and risk a 50 50, or I go Keldeo and hit the Focus Blast button. <laughs> uh, I mean, Earthquake has super good cleaning potential too, it's just the Grand that's the problem. I'm gonna go uh, probably Manetric here. And then I'm actually going to pull a double, I think, into Caldeo on the Swampert. Yeah, okay, so we get that right. As what this allows me to do is just go right for a... Do I have to risk Focus Blast anyway? And I can go for Hydro Pump, which is more accurate. As we do hit. I should have risked Focus Blast. Let's go for Hydro Pump again, though. If I miss this, we're probably going to lose to Shuriken. Okay, we don't miss. Cool. So now Secret Sword is actually free. Like, I, before, Swampert could live ahead and I had to risk accuracy moves. Now we're good, so I, I gotta switch this out. Let's go Landry's T here. On the Surf. I just go Manectric here and get a kill. Mega Evolve and T-Bolt. Because T-Bolt into Flamethrower should knock out Magirna. Yeah, okay, so Flamethrower will kill this, and then... I live ahead from Gren, I think, and knock that out. So uh, he might try to switch out here, he just lets it go down. So he has to try to, like, get the, like, five shuriken crits with the grand. I mean, it is Scarf, actually. It's Scarf Ice Beam. Come on. T-Bolt should knock this out, right? Maybe. Probably not. Okay, he misses a gunk. That's terrible. I mean, he had to hit three gunk shots to win that game. Three. I mean, I hit a focus blast and two hydro pumps. No, I hit three hydro pumps. Yeah, we kind of hacked this guy, not gonna lie. That, that was terrible. But at the same time, he played his Pelipper really badly, and I think he could have definitely played Pelipper Swampert and just won late game. 
with Mega Swampert. But hey, we take those, and uh, unfortunately, we kind of hexed this guy, but we're going to end off the live at 6 and 1. I won't drop a GG because I'm assuming that guy's annoyed, but uh, we're able to go ahead and pick up the win, of course. Did hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. The team will be down below in the description in case you guys do want to try it out, of course. And I'll see you next time. Later.